In Uganda, several writers are hoping to turn the page on the country's reading culture. Through a new initiative, the Uganda Book Market, the publishing community is opening up to showcase their creativity and to encourage a culture of reading. Leon Esanyangi reports from Kampala. Books, books, and lots of books. The Uganda Book Market offered the opportunity for writers and readers to explore the genre of literature. For some of the writers, the delight was in having told their stories. I write to give my experiences and uh, to, to, to make people's knowledge better and richer. Me sharing my story and being very open, I think that encourages other people, that inspires them to also share their stories. It is very important. And organizers here say there is now more to read than before. There's a lot coming up in Uganda, but because we don't have initiatives such as this, people think somehow that people don't write, but there is a lot of publications coming up every year. Most of the books on display here are about history, culture, and other tale of personal experiences. But with a growing preference for local content, there is more for book enthusiasts to look out for. Insights into Uganda is a book convenient enough for Japanese tourist Yusuke Hara. It's about the perceptions within the Ugandan society. I believe all will have a chance to test the knowledge that I'm going to get from that book. And literature on management was just the right pick for Geoffrey Tabazi. I found this, the entrepreneur. Everyone wants to be an entrepreneur at some point. So I think this is the right book for uh, helping you transition to that. According to World Bank indicators, at least 73% of Uganda's adult population can read and write. And it could take more than a book market to get people to read more. Most importantly in schools, it's got to be somehow people have got to be encouraged to read for enjoyment and not just to pass the examinations. For every month, for the rest of the year, there will be a showcasing of books and hopefully there will be more readers willing to have their nose in the book. Leon Sanyange, CGTN, Kampal, Uganda.